imagine you have the powers of a goddess, where you unlock true powers to tackle the strongest mythical creatures. <laughs> it all started on day one, where I spawned in as a baby demigod. Wait, I only had three hearts? I thought I was supposed to be a goddess. As a baby demigod, I also had wings. They just didn't work yet. Suddenly, a group of creepers began chasing me. Ah, leave me alone, I'm just a baby. I ran as fast as my baby legs could carry me, but it was no use. I was cornered. Huh? Are you serious? I can't die already. Just leave me alone. Huh? But what is this? I'll worry about it later. In the meantime, take this. Using my lightning ability, I was able to defeat the creepers. Now this is what I'm talking about. Using my lightning bolt to cause the whole world to go dark. So I decided to find a cave and get some sleep. I wonder if they can eat this lightning bolt. No, oh, you can't eat that. You can't eat that. No. On day two, I woke up ready to get to work. I punched some trees and got to crafting. I made a wooden pickaxe, then mined some stone to create the basic tools such as a stone pickaxe, axe, and sword. Da -da -da -da. After all that mining, I did start to get a little hungry. Oh, man. I wonder if I can eat this lightning bolt. <laughs> yeah, that's still a no. I walked to see if there was any fruit I could find, but all I found were the cute, adorable little animals. Aw, I either Mr. Cow and Sheep. Oh, see now, who would ever want to hurt you? <laughs> Mr. Cow, Mr. Sheep. No, 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 it's okay. At least I still have you. I managed to accidentally kill them as well with my goddess powers. Guess I don't know my own strength. I'm sorry, but you taste so good. <laughs> now that's what I'm talking about. Suddenly, as I was enjoying a delicious meal, a pillager appears. Uh, me? It was an accident, though. <laughs> He began to attack and chase after me! Ah, I'm just a baby! A baby goddess! He wouldn't listen to anything I'd say! And finally, I grew angry. I, no! I managed to strike him with one blow! Do I have super strength? My anger got the best of me. I found a pillager outpost where his troops were waiting. Do it! You can't defeat a goddess! Take that! <laughs> I control all of my lightning bolts! Wow, I'm starting to get a huge god complex. I defeated them all with no survivors left. It didn't heal my anger though, because in the end, I was angry because I was lonely. Uh, I just want a friend. On days three through 10, I decided it was time I build a base for myself. I managed to cut some trees to build a nice foundation for my base. My plan is to start with a basic house and then grow into a mansion for all gods and humans to live in. No more wandering alone in the woods. Awesome, my new home is so cute. I was walking over to a village to get more materials when I saw a cyclops was attacking the village. What? I have to do something. <laughs> I quickly take action gathering materials. I make a bow and luckily already had an arrow from the pillagers. Ah, he's right there. Okay, gotta make the shot count. Ow. Yes, I got him. What the heck? You tiny little thing shot me? That's it. I'm gonna have to talk to Hades about this. I'm not just a tiny little thing. I'm a demigod. And who is Hades? Hades, the god of the underworld. Just you wait. <laughs> Of course. I'm so sorry I wasn't able to save your wife. Wait, what? And just like that, I gained followers. They even built me a whole shrine and everything. This is actually pretty creepy, though. Ugh. On days 11 through 19, I kept working on my base. I wanted to expand it for future friends to come by. So I added on an extra room. Okay. And done. Wow, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. No, thank you, Hana, for protecting our village. You are the greatest goddess around. As the villager left, thunderstruck from behind, and standing before me was another god. 
And a powerful one at that! Could you possibly be the great god from the legends? The Bronzo? Huh? Who's Bronzo? Anyways, we need to rebuild Mount Olympus. You must repair it. Oh, uh, okay. Where is it? It's right here. You're standing on it. This is where Mount Olympus once was. And it's up to you to bring it back to its former glory. I looked around at what was once the magnificent Mount Olympus and knew I had a lot of work ahead. Listen, you need to gather the main items from the most powerful gods. One of them is my brother Poseidon. You must obtain his spear. Um, how can I do all that? I'm just a baby with only three hearts. All right, now go make me proud. And just like that, I was a full-fledged goddess. Wow, I have 20 hearts now. I can finally use my wings. I fly around as free as a bird, but then notice I have something. What's this? A map? I realize that the god must have given me this map. Neat! This will be useful. In the meantime, gotta get some iron tools. I found a cave and managed to get some iron. After crafting a furnace, it was time for smelting and designing the basic iron tool set. On days 20 through 27, I was ready to set sail. I crafted a boat and then began to follow the map. Okay, time to find the legendary god of water, Poseidon. Adventure time! Suddenly, some drowned appeared and began to put on a tough fight. Ah! Oh no! and continued on my way. Note to self, never go in water again. I eventually found myself in the jungle biome. Not gonna lie, I was a bit lost. Hello? Poseidon? Someone? I'm a bit lost. Bronzo? Uh, uh, Zeus? I tried to ask for directions, but the locals were so rude and just kept mocking me. Where is Poseidon? Where is Poseidon? No, that's what I'm asking you. Uh, that's what I'm asking you. Ah! I continued on my way to a cave and decided to get some more materials. Ooh, iron! Time to make some armor! I made three furnaces for rapid smelting and created an iron chest plate. Perfect! Now to continue my quest. I hunted for some food along the way. What I didn't realize was that something was following me. Ha! I'm an amazing huntress! I'm queen of the jungle! Or, uh, goddess of the jungle. <laughs> a tiger appeared before me. It was terrifying, to say the least. You call yourself a queen of the jungle? Uh, yeah? Oh, is the queen afraid of the king? <laughs> Please don't eat me! The tiger leapt towards me and we broke into a fight! Ah, you never think you can defeat a goddess! Take that! No, it's impossible. No one has ever been able to defeat me. No! I was able to defeat the tiger, but while I celebrated, someone else was watching me. Yeah, that's right! No one can ever defeat me! Huh? Uh, are you a satyr? He was a bit shy. I followed the satyr back to his camp, as he said he might be able to help me on my journey. So, you've been quiet this whole time? Uh, what's your name? I'm Dante. Dante the satyr. I heard you mention you were a goddess. That's right, I'm looking for other gods. Do you happen to know where they might be? I'm trying to grow more powerful. I don't, but what I do have is this lyre, straight from the god of music himself, Apollo. Whoa, gimme, gimme! Ha, you think I'm gonna hand over such a weapon that easily? You're gonna need to fight me for it. Like a fist fight? What? No, like a lyre off. Here, take this one. Ha, you're on. Suddenly, it was time. We both got on the podium and the duel commenced. He's really good! <laughs> Your turn now, so cold goddess. But I'm a satyr. Music is in our blood. All right, bet! Try this! We gave it our all, and finally, I had won! Impossible. No god or goddess has ever been able to defeat a satyr and a liar off before. You're something extraordinary, Hana. You deserve Apollo's lyre. I just have one request. Oh, uh, what is it? Would it be possible to play music with you sometime? There's not much friends to jam with around here. Of course! Why don't 
you stay at my base? I'm sure the villagers would love to listen to your music. Ha, that sounds awesome. And with that, we took off to Mount Olympus. Yeah, hey, uh, wait for me. I made it back to my base on Mount Olympus with Dante falling from behind. Now with Dante here, we built a concert hall for him. That way we could rock out on our lyres all the time. Wow, the stage turned out so cool. I can't wait for us to perform for my followers. Yeah, that'll be sick. But before that, you need to perform for the sheep. Go ahead and take your lyre over to some and then bring them here. Oh, right. I was wanting to try that. All right, be back in a bit. And so off I went to try out the lyre. <sighs> All right, time to try this out. Let's see what it does. As I began to play the lyre, all of the sheep froze at the sound of my music, enchanted by its sound. Wow, this thing is so cool. After using the power of the lyre, I lured the sheep back to our base. Dante was really pleased to see all the sheep I brought over and impressed by lyre skills. Man, I love this thing. It's so useful. Yeah, and it's not just good for sheep. It comes in handy in battle as well. Battle? How so? I quickly realized I was about to find out. Without a torch in sight, zombies and skeletons were headed our way. Don't worry, Dante. I've got this. Hannah, use the lyre. Quick. On it. I used the lyre, and just like the sheep, the monsters were stunned. This way, it gave me a head start, and I could attack with them frozen for just a moment. We did it! Impressive stuff, Anna. Looking forward to help you rebuild Mount Olympus. Thank you so much, Dante. Not only did I gain more followers, I also got to make a real friend. On days 45 to 50, I was able to finally make a nice comfy bed and went to sleep. But I had a terrible vision where I woke up in an unknown location. Huh? Where am I? Is this the nether? This is the underworld. Huh? Who are you? Uh, hello? Did someone leave this old man over here? You dare speak to me like that? I am the god of the underworld! Standing before me was Hades, who then showed me his true form. Wait, Hades? W what's going on? Oh, are you scared now, little goddess? I will escape the underworld and rule over all gods! No, I won't let you! <laughs> we'll see, little godling. I doubt you're any match for the Hydra. Huh? Hydra? <laughs> Go now, my pets! Consume the living! <laughs> I woke up to the sound of my followers screaming in fear. I rush outside into the chaos and find the Hydra attacking. What is that? Don't worry, I'll protect all of you. I fly into battle and lure the Hydra away from the base and the rest of the villagers. All right, Hydra, let's see what you're made of. I quickly learned that Hydras are apparently made up of a ton of poison and despite being a literal goddess, kept nearly dying. How am I supposed to defeat this thing? To make matters worse, even if I got a few good hits in, it would just grow more heads. Because of this, we battled for hours. Just as I was beginning to lose hope, a gauntlet appears around my arm. Oh, what is this? The gauntlet was a gift from the gods, sent to me to defeat the Hydra. Finally, I could get the upper hand. All right, Hydra, it's been fun, but you're going down. The gauntlet had the ability to draw the Hydra towards me, and I could grab it and drag it wherever I went. It was still pretty difficult, though, because holy cow, that thing weighed a ton. Okay, I got you now. <laughs> How do I defeat you is uh, the question. I got a chain from one of my followers and dragged the Hydra all the way to captivity. Ha! That's what you get for being a sussy baka. I decided the best way to deal with the Hydra is not to defeat it, but leave it chained up and build a whole dungeon around it. Because of this victory, I successfully gained more followers. Even animals were traveling to Mount Olympus now. Whoa, look at all these animals. Hey, nice to meet you guys. You like jazz? I looked at all the animals and my followers, so proud of how far we've all come. Suddenly, I turn around and there he was again, the great god I had met before. Oh, hi, Bronzo. Uh, I don't, I know, don't who know who that is. That is. Anyways, Anyways, I came, I came here, here to, to tell you to go, go seek, seek out Poseidon. Poseidon. Remember, Remember your, your mission, mission, little goddess. Right, um, that reminds me. I wanted to ask you something. Are, are you my father? Oh, that's, oh, right. that's right. I need, I need to go, to go pick, pick up some milk. Some milk. Don't, Don't forget, forget Poseidon. Poseidon. Uh, typical. And with that, I was off to search for Poseidon's weapon. On days 58 to 61, I traveled across the stormy seas in search of Poseidon. Oh, gee. I wonder if he's angry. Where on the map is he anyways? I didn't have time to think because when I looked up, a tsunami had formed. Ah, uh, that's not a mountain. I tried to outrun the rushing waters, but it was too late. No, 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 no! Falling into a ravine, I was able to find a small cave for me to rest. <sighs> that was lucky. Uh, hi there, Mr. Turtle. Huh? 
Are you a talking turtle? Turns out, the turtle was an ally of Poseidon. <laughs> Meet Poseidon? Yeah, let's do this! The turtle asked me to follow him, and sure enough, we arrived at Poseidon's lair. Whoa! Why does this place look so destroyed? My question was answered because suddenly, the ground started to shake. Huh? Wh what's going on? Hello there, my child. I am Poseidon. My child? D dad What if? No, I am Poseidon, god of the sea. My trident has been stolen. Stolen? Who would do such a thing? Was it Hades? Yes, at least it was one of his minions, a large beast with one eye. Wait, the Cyclops? So you know of him. Go then, little godling. Reclaim my trident so that I can restore all my powers, for without it, I am incomplete. Yes, sir! Poseidon would tell me to locate the Cyclops, and just like that, I set up on the mission. I got near to his coordinates, but found mysterious Greek ruins nearby. Ah, uh, could this be the location of the Cyclops? I went inside and was immediately attacked. Ah, who are you guys? Ha, <laughs> bet! While the monsters were tough, they were no match for the gifts I had received from the gods. With my lyre, lightning, and sword, I was victorious. Now, what were these guys protecting? Ooh, what's this? I found a lever, and when pushed, it unveiled a secret room. Aha! Uh -huh. It was not an aha, though, because when I went down there, a dreaded scuttler was waiting for me. Yeah, I ate spiders. This thing was big and powerful. Luckily, I was still able to stun it, though. Huh, can't move now, can we? Finally, I took it down and found the chest it was guarding. Huh? Ooh, don't mind if I do. Inside it were some iron ingots and two diamonds. Safe to say, this side quest was well worth it. On day 62 to 70, I returned to Mount Olympus to put away my newly obtained treasure when I saw that my followers had started to make a statue of me. Wow, what's this you got going on here? <laughs> wow, I'm so touched. You really didn't have to do that. <laughs> I asked for some material and help with the construction. It looked like it would probably take a while to build, so glad I lended a hand. After a long day of building, I checked up on Dante, who didn't seem like his normal cheery self. Uh, Dante? What's wrong? Did you just find out that Jazz hasn't been invented yet? Nah, but that did bum me out. It's just, it's been a bit since I moved to Olympus, and I'm just feeling really lonely without a pack of my own. Hey. What? I'm looking for love, Hana. I want a waifu for laifu. I gotta say, I was pretty surprised Dante was interested in something like romance. Didn't really seem like the type. Don't worry, Dante. I could totally find you a girlfriend. Wait a sec. Hana, are you telling me that you- <laughs> No, not me. Anyone but me. That's no. Hard pass, but uh, I could find you someone. I landed in the woods off on my mission. A spider quickly tried to attack me, but after practicing with my bow so much, I killed it before he even got near me. Yes! I got it! And that's when I saw him. Hey, nice archery skill. Ah, the hungiest fiery red-haired honey I'd ever seen. Uh, uh hi, uh, Hana. Pardon? Uh, sorry. <clears throat> I'm Hana. Nice to meet you. Uh. People around here call me Cupid, but you can call me by my real name, Yuri, God of Love. I'm an archer myself, actually. It's my job to go around and make people fall in love. You're doing a great job. What? Uh, that's cool. What a fun job. Actually, I'm pretty tired of it. But hey, if you're interested, I wouldn't mind having some help. In desperate need of a break, Yuri asked that I make different creatures fall in love. And I over-eagerly accepted. Okay, so how does Cupid's spell work? Do I just shoot something? I wanted to try it on animals first, so I tested it on some pigs. Aww, look at you guys, passionately gazing into each other's souls. The two pigs then had a baby. Oh, uh, hi there. I then went to test out the bow on cows, and it worked on them as well. You cows look so cute with each other. It was then that I decided I wanted to test it out on humans next. So I found these two that I thought would make a cute couple. All right, let's see if this works. Hey, Yvonne! Huh? Who, who's there? Oh, ho, ho, Kyrie! I feel like my eyes have finally been opened, but you're the most beautiful princess I've ever seen. It seemed like the feeling was mutual, and it ended up with them happily dancing together. They're so cute together! All right, now to find Dante next. I don't know, Hana. Where am I supposed to find a hot babe around these parts of the forest? Hmm, well... 
we can start with... Huh? W what's that noise? It was then that I heard the beautiful voices of these mysterious creatures. Who's talking over there? It's so pretty. What I found was the most adorable little pixie. Hi, I'm Gia. What's your name? Uh, Ahana. Hey, Chio. Are you by any chance seeing anyone? Uh, not really. I did used to date this demon guy for a bit, though. And then that was a ghost, but he got it by demon lord. Oh, also, I have this best friend that I... Okay, I've heard enough. The two could not stop staring at each other. It was like a match made in... Well, made by me. I still had one more arrow. And who better to use it on than Cupid himself? <laughs> okay, Yuri. This one is for the book the boss. <laughs> Though my plan didn't work accordingly, as the unexpected happened. Uh, hey, Yuri, you're ready to go score some bait? Uh, oh my god! Ren, are you okay? Uh, yeah, I'm... Huh? Oh, that's the most beautiful goddess I have ever laid my eyes on. Uh-oh. Hey, that was an accident. Sorry that I... Oh, no, d don't worry about it. Could I get you something? Like iron, some water, uh, maybe some diamonds? No, no, uh, I, I really should probably just... Wait, did you just say diamonds? I decided to hear my new simp out, and lo and behold, he was able to find some diamonds for me. Wow, having a simp is awesome. Thanks so much, Ren. <laughs> Uh, okay, here, here you go, my goddess. Though it didn't go according to plan, I did gain more followers. Dante and I decided to tackle the statue. The villagers were gracious enough to give their goddess some gold to replace the jewelry on the statue. We then worked on the arms and then finally the head. Whoa, this statue is looking cool, Hana. Dante! Oh, wait, this is my narration! Oh, sorry. Finally, the goddess herself was complete. An amazing statue for all to know who the true goddess of the Minecraft overworld is. Oh, man. The statue looks beautiful! Hey, Hana. I've taken a liking to your new Mount Olympus. I was wondering if I could get a place to stay here. What? Safe to say I definitely began to work on a building for Yuri. This would be a perfect place for his matchmaking services. We decided to go for a nice Greek theme because, you know, I'm a goddess and he's a god. Oh, man, Hana. This is amazing. You're amazing. Uh, what? You really think so? Before Yuri could compliment my gorgeous beauty, phantoms arrived. Oh, no. I totally forgot we're supposed to sleep! We've just been building and partying with everyone! Luckily, the phantoms were no match for Yuri and I, so their defeat was inevitable. Ha <laughs> ha! Take that! Ugh, guess I had to go find that Cyclops now. Hey! Huh? The pixie named Chio came over to me. She explained to me that her pixie friends were captured by the Cyclops, so she wants to go lead me to them. Okay, lead the way! On days 81 to 88, I followed Chio on a boat as she frantically guided me to the captured pixies. Okay, Chio, where are they at? Over here! Please save them, Hana! We finally made it, but Chio was too scared to go in there. The rest is up to you, goddess Hana. I wish you the best of luck. Ugh, Howard! I'm just a fairy! I crept up to the cave, and there the Cyclops was. Fearsome and possibly stronger than ever. The pixies were all locked up, terrified. Oh no, you poor things! Suddenly, the Cyclops noticed me, and we began to fight. I won't let you get away with this! Oh, you're just a beauty factory. What strength could you possibly harbor? His mockery stunned me, for he managed to attack and destroy all of my armor. Uh, no, I won't go down that easily. It took all the powers of the gods I had, but finally, I managed to strike him down. Hana, Hana, you got it! Chio released the fairies with all of them thanking me. <laughs> All in a day's work, I then went to see what was in the chest, and there it was, Poseidon's trident, along with it, a snorkel! Oh, I'm actually a bit more excited for the snorkel, but I can't wait to test this out! I knew I was supposed to return this to Poseidon, but I didn't think it would hurt if I used the trident in my battle against Hades. We decided to bring the pixies back to Mount Olympus. Hey, nice work, Hana. Yeah, yeah, all in the day's work of a goddess. Suddenly, a dark being appeared. <laughs> Hades? But what are you doing out of the underworld? I have finally escaped. You took too long to retrieve my brother's trident. My minions have finally been freed. Uh, I'm not gonna let you get away with this, Hades! Hades? Is that any way to talk to your... father? <laughs> what? This god, Hades, was my father. Meet me in the Colosseum. We'll settle this like father and daughter, god and goddess. The winner shall be ruler of the overworld. Before I could say anything else, he vanished. Huh, so Bronzo really wasn't my dad. But how am I supposed to defeat Hades all by myself? Oh, 
Hello. That's when I met him. Hey, I'm Klaus, and I'm a demigod. I'm here to help you. Wait, demigod? Who's your father? Zeus, of course. He sent me to help you defeat Hades. He showed me he had the other half of Zeus's lightning bolt. It was almost time to go, but I wanted to leave my followers with hope. Followers of the goddess Hana, I ask that you not lose hope. We have come so far and restored so much of what Mount Olympus once was. Now is not the time to back down. Take a stand. And make sure to subscribe to the Princess Hana YouTube channel. That way, my faithful followers, you're making sure to support this goddess and can see more of my adventures. Uh, yeah, I want to see more of Hana, more Princess Hana adventures. Of course, Hana. Anything you need. What's YouTube? All right, Klaus, let's go. Finally, on day 100, Klaus and I made it to our meeting point at the Colosseum, where we would work together to face up Hades and bring peace back to the overworld. Let's do this. Right. We entered the Colosseum, and what stood waiting for us were statues of various mobs. They look so real. Yeah, you better be careful, Hana. <laughs> My daughter, you actually decided to show up. Of course I did. I won't let you destroy the overworld. And who is this one? Another son of Zeus? That's right. We're gonna take you down. You wouldn't be the first child of Zeus I've slain, and certainly not the last. And suddenly, battle started, and Hades would send up various minions from the underworld. Look out, Mama. Those are dreaded knights you sending out. Right, Hades? I'll show you what a true goddess's powers look like. With the help of Klaus, we were able to slay the last of his monstrosities. You put up a good fight, but you are no match for me. Ah! Hades threw down his first strike. His sword slashes would launch projectiles that would attack both Klaus and I. Ah! Watch out for his attacks! Yeah, he's strong. I'm surprised you could live this long, God things. Perhaps you do have some power to you. It was a tiring battle, but after exchanging damage, Klaus and I were victorious! Oh, no! No! 